I, I already knew that people weren't ready for uh, for what I was talking about. So, so it's not a surprise, but uh, when I when I started coming out talking about like Mike Pence or something like, I think people didn't know what my issue was, and I wasn't going on just a regular, you know, uh, the lesser of, you know, like a a, a tirade against politicians or anything like that. It's very specific. And I know what, what I'm talking about, but the thing is, nobody else is really responsible to know what I'm talking about until it makes until it makes sense, right? Uh, because they they thought it would be like arbitrary reasons or like you know why you prefer or like one person like or or don't like somebody is it because you like some a different person so it's an, i don't have to not like somebody in order to like their opposite or i don't have to like somebody to dislike somebody in relationship to them if i'm talking about something if i'm talking about something right and uh uh it comes I mean, I don't know how many, but what am I trying to do? I don't want to be redundant. I don't want to say anything I've already said. There's something else that goes into this, uh, the, the directed acyclic graph, quantum, the quantum tangle technology versus the quantum processor. Being that what's happening to Elon Musk recently, right? And being that uh, uh, he might have to look for an alternative to a Apple. And they want to come out with his own phone in order to put Twitter on it and have an, a, I don't even want to get into crypto right now. For one, for one, right, uh, directed acyclic graph is not crypto, but it is on blockchain. So a lot of people are going to be like, oh, this is another one of those Bitcoin and blockchain and you want to sell your NFT or something like that. I don't have an NFT. I don't have an NFT. I don't have my own NFT. And if I wanted to sell NFTs, you just release them on the marketplace where they're managed and kept on the platform that 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 uh, manages them. Um, but the direct okay, so look at what Elon has to do, right? And look at what I'm telling you about integrating open source uh, platforms right because we think of it in terms of like oh the entrepreneur maybe they don't have time or business to want to be put up with all that it's the thing is not that why they come up with this space force crap why is it convenient to have somebody who knows nothing about it to be in charge of it because look over there don't look at here look over there you know what i mean it's it's just simple it's not even like it's just because a new seal will change the course of hum hum humanity. It's a new seal with a root seed text hash ID authentication authenticator. And then they can get together with uh, other off-chain data processors and uh, shard their data, which like, go off the blockchain, right? Uh, and then deploy with uh, mingle gossip you know, with other servers and then uh, bring that exotic data back with the seal of the root seed text hash ID, you can authenticate that nobody's tampered with it, which would make it point, which would make it pointless. So since you can make sure that nobody's tampered with it, you can use it to ex um, produce other exotic data query fields. And for the oracles and everything that that goes with it will just make more powerful applications and there's a reason why they suppress apps in the app store it's a sophisticated class of serfdom and a conservatorship over uh the the it, the the private sector and the encryption in, in, in by way of the encryption layer the 
you know, like SHA-256 satellite algorithm is an encryption algorithm to protect satellites from being uh, tampered, hacked, and tampered with, hacked, whatever, so. Uh, and, uh, you know, people like Lindsey Graham and Mike Pence and it may seem like enemies or something, so for one reason or another, we might think that if I'm talking about one, I dislike the other. You're not supposed to like politician. You're not supposed to like expect anything to good to come from voting for the lesser of two evils and thank god it's not up to us that motherfucking uh um uh, trustless peer-to-peer you know uh in decentralization and shit like that is happening okay and then uh they you think about it, they go who has to respond to it doug we or the government, you know what I mean? Because they do value things like, you know, the the um ability to provide to do services we're a service sector nation. We you know what I mean? So like a lot of like uh there's some things that are near and dear to the economy that I guess regular people might overlook it. So when they hear me talking about Mike Pence, they're thinking I'm gonna be like all like, uh, I don't know what they're thinking because I know they're not expecting anybody to come back and be like all liberal and shit like that. You know what I mean? They don't know why I'm going to like, like why I'm dissatisfied or something or saying anything negative. I'm not really dissatisfied. All I'm saying is that Mike Pence doesn't know what a space force is, though. And I think. It, it, that it's important because most people don't know what a space force is that somebody who doesn't know what space force is is their preface to to it so they like because you know like when bill gates jumps into the metaverse is already going to be it's going to be so fast that he takes so that that he his his like he's working on it now you know what i mean he already has microsoft is windows already has the the infrastructure for for the metaverse built out already. I don't know why nobody would be talking about him or having a conversation about the metaverse without him. See what I'm saying? Why would... And that's because when these subjects are queued up, the people that we consider to be the authoritarian, authoritative uh, source just don't... They omitted it. So anybody else who doesn't omit it, you must be lunatic conspiracy land but the thing is i'm not really emotionally attached i just like try to you know have get out front and say who who i do this first and see if any of this shit comes true because for a long time you know i mean i'm just biding my time and this is all you know seemingly useless this has no value to me unless somebody at some later period down the road uh sees it and is like uh, oh, you're right. Like somebody was right back then. Oh, then, then I smell like ro roses and, and even there's some fucking lint in my beard or something. Is that gray? I can't tell if it's lint or it's gray. It's gray hair. Uh. <clears throat> I don't know. Maybe maybe they'll, uh, have a job for me. Let me get a job. <laughs> uh, you good? I seen you. You good? They know. They know me. <clears throat> Reputation precedes you. I say you fucking good man. <laughs> Your reputation perceive you. You fucking good, huh? I, I, I like. I see you. He was right about the shit, the quantum tangle bullshit. <clears throat> it's not hard to be. It's not hard to be right. <coughs> Excuse me. It's very easy to see. It's very easy to see that you can't be vague about something. And we don't know about for too long before the cat gets out of the bag. You know what I mean? Like the scientist that 
want to overlook the deep oceanic plane that they said that they discovered the Higgs boson on? Why don't you talk about that? Because nobody is knowing about a, a fi an energy field of illuminating, glowing, dancing, like phenomenon that's going on where right before they discovered that a little bit of antimatter or some shit like a, a diva shunning plane huh and there's a fucking shit outside with the fucking portal like you know portal science like a portal science the diva shunning uh uh interdimensional like uh port portal <laughs> like you're being huh you, you know what portals are for it's a subatomic it, you need something to come through to uh, like a um, archetype or a, you know what I mean or you could be opening a, a, a gate for the, for the monster, which you, it, a lot of people don't want to talk about because they think one thing or another, but a lot of things are a monster, a fucking circle or a nucleus, the nucleus inside of a fucking cell, of a fucking cell. Anything that you have to in, address in, initially before you look at the whole pathology, like the sun shining. Uh, above the the earth, you know, what I mean, that is like a ecology and a pathology, you know, what I mean, and you get what I don't want to break down semantics too far, you know, because it would be again redundancy, Maybe more redundancy. I don't know why that is. What is anybody supposed to do, like, with information? That could be a question, right? Like, what do people do with uh, with and with research? What do people do with data? What do people? Because at some point, you keep something and you're throwing out something. You take the best, you leave the worst, right? So when they're not correlating, getting all this data together, you know what I mean? There's always still the problem of what you're gonna do with that with that data, you know. And and uh, and so coming up with ways to encrypt, like a quantum tangle and shit, to get way out in front of, you know, a problem. But then eventually it will be the same technology to unravel it. A quantum pro process, space force. You the one that like if y'all believe that you're the one that looks like you you need to be in a straitjacket, not me. Well, I mean, we're, we're, we would still be talking about fucking strapping onto a goddamn rocket ship. Can you tell me that there's anything out there in the frontier of space that they fucking need bring back? That, that if it was weighed more than a fucking, um, if it weighed anything, then you couldn't bring it in your ship to fucking land it back on the planet. How are you going to? find something out there and then say oh it's got all this uh, minerals and shit let's t try to tow it tow it in it's gonna burn up in the atmosphere or it's gonna blow up a city or something it's gonna i don't know cause a tidal wave or something so or you wouldn't have any like it would all burn up or it'd be too much and it would not burn up and then it would be like uh there would be the four horsemen's you know, of the apocalypse. <laughs> so what the fuck are they talking about Space Force then? Do you really think that you have less of an idea, that you have more of an idea? No, do you think that you know less about it than Mike Pence after listening to this uh, conspiracy ramble? I'm not even libeling anybody. I'm not throwing nobody under the bus. Nobody's... This information doesn't hurt anybody. You know what I mean? Why, why, 
you know, what's what's the, the big fear is that you have to mask your intelligence if you know about emerg emerging fields of technology before cool people's does, before cool people do. You're about to see a fucking porn porno of uh, those cool people dropping just because they're famous like the Enron scandal or something that they're going to drop their porno. And you're going to see how cool people look fucking, <laughs> fucking do ugly por ugly porn like disgust like gross porno like nothing special about a por porno is yeah. so nothing special about it not only that i've heard that it was like hideous because it's like never mind i don't want to describe shit i haven't seen <laughs>